And a local research team in the meantime is back after a trip to the site of that Norfolk Southern train derailment. Members of the team collected water samples from creeks and homes in East Palestine, Ohio. News 18's Joe Paul is live tonight outside Hampton Hall at Purdue University. And that's where he spoke with Professor Andrew Welton today, as well as several of his students. And Joe, what are they learning from those water samples they brought back to West Lafayette? Jeff, they're testing for volatile compounds and heavy metals here inside Hampton Hall right behind me, but it's too early to know the exact extent of the contamination. In fact, they just got back in West Lafayette around midnight after a six hour drive from the site of this ecological disaster. They spent much of today sorting and labeling uh, several glass vials that filled eight coolers. Paula Coelho and fellow ecological engineering students want to know what lurks inside these water samples. Today we are separating the samples that they collected and we are going to analyze it later as soon as possible to have a feedback for people. They sampled water from creeks and homes in East Palestine, Ohio, where a Norfolk Southern train derailed and spilled hazardous materials like vinyl chloride. Residents called for their help when government agencies wouldn't pick up the phone. A lot of them were very concerned. They didn't know if their water was safe to drink. Nobody ever thinks that one day they might not have access to clean water. Stephanie Hefner and Rasul Diop are also part of the research team. You see these things on TV and then just getting there firsthand and seeing, you know, the amount of help people need and, and you know, the amount of clarity people just need. And they're just looking for someone to, you know, come and reach out and, and show that they're, you know, supporting and trying to, you know, help them out. Clarity is what's missing as distrust in the official response grows. Many residents, for example, report trouble getting their wells tested. And there's absolutely no communication back to the people that need it. Video from Professor Andrew Welton shows an obvious sheen in a creek that runs through town. When you see kids playing out at the creeks, or you see people walking their dogs at the creeks, and you know that there's a problem, and that people should not be anywhere near that, and officials are not telling people to do that, you realize the value of what you're doing. Well, this team wants to help residents who want an answer to this question, is my water safe to drink? The team tested wells, several wells uh, in homes close to that creek, and they'll be following up with those homeowners to let them know about the results. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Joe Paul, News 18. All right.